Hello and welcome to episode 54 of the Daybot Cast. This is a weekly podcast where the three of us come together each week to talk about K-pop and what is sort of current in the industry and whatnot. Sometimes we do album reviews. This week we got four of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, this week's lineup is going to be uh, Stray Kids, then Chunga, Chunga. Chunga. and then OMG. Oh OMG. My and then Momoland. Momoland. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, uh, I guess we can get right into it. Um, also, again, once again, uh, thank you to those of you who reviewed us on iTunes. And we would also be eternally grateful to those who haven't done so to do so. Yep, uh, we have a total a of five. Yes. Which is good. Yeah, it's very good. Um, and also, we recently hit our milestone. Hey, you, you stole one of my three things, David. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. So please subscribe as well if you haven't done so and you like our stuff. Anyways, Andrew, you can also repeat that because I love it. <laughs> and uh, as always, uh, I'm joined by Nate. Yep. Uh, pretty, pretty quote. I want to apologize for being sick and possibly coughing on camera or sneezing or whatever. Yeah. Into the quote. I remember very first time in love. Yes, I remember. Uh, <laughs> and Andrew, who usually has three things. Number one, uh, very important thing actually. For the first time in over a decade, uh, come this February for the Olympics, Korea, North Korea, and South Korea will be marching in in the opening ceremony as one Korea. Like yeah, I know, that's awesome. every, I know everyone's gonna be like, oh, it's just stupid politics, or like, like I don't know, just like. Uh, like window dressing or whatever, but I still think it's important. Not not just that, like the the women's hockey team, it's going to be a combined North Korean and South Korean uh, team. Like they, they only had a couple of players in North Korea, so that's why I'm guessing they couldn't send the full team, but they'll just add them on to the uh, South Korean team. So that's that's really cool. That's it's yeah, so it's, cool. It's definitely progress as far as like if they ever want to do do want to achieve unification. So mm-hmm. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Another thing is. Uh, I think it's good to sort of uh, like light intentions a little bit, considering like Definitely. recent stuff with North Definitely. Korea. So. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I mean, th- I, that's the nice thing about sports is that like even for just two weeks, you can just put all that like nonsense aside and just compete. So yeah, that, that's really cool. Uh, yeah. Also, having to do with Korean sports, uh, League of Legends is back <laughs> this Ooh. week. Yeah, um, I'm gonna be rooting for my boys over at Team Liquid. Um, no, which is like, uh, which is like LCS. three, three fifths Korean now. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a, they, there's Team Liquid's Cor- supposed to be the foreign team. I know it's yeah, it's pretty. They funny. were always the foreign team. In yeah, they, 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 yeah, in, in SCT, they they <laughs> sign all. Hey, hey, they they had some Koreans on their Starcraft team. Yeah, they had a team. couple. Yeah, but I mean, they they they're known for like having like the best like like non Koreans whenever they'd compete in WCS. Well, yeah, because before they were an esports team, Team Liquid was like the biggest S- Starcraft, Starcraft like website like, or like esports starcraft website that was not yeah, korean like, people people still go to like team liquid yeah the forums are still yeah. like yeah yeah so but then they started an esports team and they were the foreign team yep <laughs> so yeah shout outs to my guys over at team liquid and also yeah I'll, i'm gonna try to watch as much lck as i can even though it's at three in the morning like they, it's funny they have crazy sponsors like freaking like bbq like the like the 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 actual like brand or like the restaurant owns a team, mm-hmm. <laughs> so they're called the BBQ Olivers. <laughs> Good chicken, though, by the way. Um, On top barbecue. of that, Overwatch League is great, even mm-hmm. if Andrew doesn't like it. Yeah, I like it. So Soul far. Dynasty. I'm having a lot of fun. You know, you know, Soul um, Dynasty is tearing it up. Soul Dynasty. Woo. KSV Esports bought Samsung in League of Legends, so they're known <laughs> as KSV. Uh, they're not known Galaxy. as Samsung Galaxy. They're not Samsung Galaxy anymore. It's KSV. It's That's crazy. It. That's the whole name. Hmm. Yeah. What about white and black? Did they combine? No, 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 no. They got rid of that. They got rid of like double teams a long time ago. You can't have two oh, more, okay. two two franchises anymore. But yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I don't know where this Kevin Cho guy's getting all this money from. But damn, he owns like two of like the most like in, in ten, <coughs> like two of the best like teams in all both e- Overwatch and League of Legends. Anyway, hmm. and yeah, yeah, as Jacob mentioned, we hit 100 subs, so I'm gonna have to get on that 100 subs video eventually. Uh, Thanks yeah, to we everyone. probably should have had that made and uploaded for when we hit 100 subs, but <laughs> oh, we kind of wow. like. No, I I, 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 I was gonna work on it. Yet. I I was gonna work on it yesterday, but I was just like, 
what if somebody unsubs and we don't hit a hundred yeah. and I put yeah. it? <laughs> oh well. We'll get then there. we just you, right, then we de- then we make it private again, and unsub. then when we hit a hundred, we make it public again. No, that, 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 that's the thing. I'm just like, wait a second. What if like, this goes up and people unsub? <laughs> All right, our next milestone has to be 250 or yep. 1,000. So we can. I think we can hit that by the end of the year. I think we can hit yeah, 250 by the end of yep, the year. Yep, that's our goal. That's our goal. One year from now, 250. <laughs> yep. All right. Jacob. Wait, was that three? Yeah, that's three. Yeah. Oh, okay. Esports, real sports, and 100 subs. All right, so, um, considering Nate doesn't have the best voice right now because he's a little sick, yeah. I, I will be covering the track over my job this week. Yeah. So I don't have to stress my voice more than yep. it needs to be. So uh, the first um, album we're going to be reviewing is uh, Mixtape, which is like, is this still pre-debut? It's a, yeah, yeah, Stray it's Kids pre-debut, pre-debut release. Yeah, so a pre-debut album. Uh, I think most or some of the songs they did on the show, kind of oh, okay. like how how uh, Once's first album had the three songs that they did on sixteen. Yeah, Once's, Once's, Twice's. Twice's. <laughs> He's sick. I was He's trying sick. to think. Well, I was thinking, what? It's not. Is it page one? The story yeah, begins. Or, or, yeah, yeah or, page yeah, one. The story, page begins. One story begins. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking page one, and I said once because I thought of <laughs> page one thrice. and twice. <laughs> no, well, thrice sucks. So, yeah. Hey, not the band, like the the antis. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um. So, anyways, uh, this is like a, as far as I know, this is like a self-produced album. Yeah, like ninety um, percent of the if it's produced by Three Racha, like the, that's their that's like yeah. their little subunit that they have in uh, Street Sorry. Kids. Oh, Sam they're from Rocha. Stray Kids. Sam yeah, Rocha. yeah, it's it's part of Stray Kids. It's a side. I yeah. did not know that. I thought it was a separate group. Cooper Cooper was linking. No, no, no. no, no. no. They're, it's it's anyways, Stray Kids. I'll, I'll go and listen to the rest of those then too. <laughs> um. Anyways, um, we can go into the first track, Elevator, which was which we've is already the, listened to, but it's the pre debut, pre debut song. It's it's yeah. the pre debut for like the 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 show Stray Kids and then this pre, is the album of the pre debut yeah. that like the group Stray Kids. Yeah, yeah. so the song was on our top MVs list from last week. Easily, yeah, yeah. honestly, this was really good. Um, and just based upon this MV, I feel like Nate had his uh, whole like Stray Kids will become the third biggest group. Oh yeah, yeah, because like well yeah um, yeah, like they Go. have such rap potential and. They're JYP, so they'll have decent dancing at least. Um, they have big company advantage, so I think they'll definitely top get to two really big levels. <laughs> we'll get big to that. Big two. Yeah, we'll get to that. Yo, don't say that. Why? YG, YG's gonna write us an angry letter. Like what? <laughs> nope. Good. Yeah, do it. I dare you. Oh yeah, recent news. Um, JYP surpassed YG. Surpassed YG, and it's well deserved in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I agree. One JYP's thing. Yeah, for fire. I guess one thing I guess is just like a sort of general sort of note when it comes to Stray Kids. The one thing that I was sort of afraid of when they were like, b- before we really knew what Stray Kids was, is like, are they just going to be, are they going to be like exactly like a GOT7 or like they're going to, are they going to be like their own sort of thing? And they're, and they're, that's the thing. I think from listening to this album and listening to like the rest of their album, it's definitely, yeah. they're they're almost like the NCT of JYP. Uh, I'd say they're like, yeah. <laughs> I said they're like Monsax. They're Monsax, yeah, yeah. like Mont straight Sachs up. And BTS to me. Yeah, because it, yeah. they're definitely like the NTT in that it's it's experiment or it's a different sound considering what JYP is sort of used to, oh, like, yeah, yeah. known for, yeah. especially like I don't. This might be the most rap heavy JYP oh, group 100%. I've ever heard. One, like, yeah, well, yeah, easily. Well, these are like some of the best idol rappers I've heard in a long time too. Yeah, like, yeah that's, that's which is crazy. They're very YG, good. Or not YG. JYP was always known for having like pretty weak rap lines. Yeah. So like, this is really good. Yeah. I'm really excited for what they're. How gonna, dare you uh, insult Cheyoung and Dubu? And you been on and before that was Shana. No, I'm, just, I'm talking. Shana. Well, here's the thing. Uh, well, you've been you've been as a strong rapper if she doesn't <coughs> rap in the JYP style. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like because they always were forced into sort of JYP's box. Yeah, of how rap because like be. if yeah, you actually yeah. listen to if you listen to Yubin's like she she released like mixtapes and like stuff yeah. on SoundCloud. She's pretty she's really good. But yeah, I, like I, I so on yeah. also like with Jackson, Although, like he's way better in his solo stuff than he is during like in God yeah. Sevens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think rap like goes. they haven't really had decent rappers since 2 p.m. Like Tachyon's good. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, but like since then they haven't really. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's um, again, but yeah. that's why like JYP rap style is a thing. Is a thing, yeah, so. yeah. And it's but usually this, worse this completely than breaks that mold, which is yeah, a nice, yeah. definitely. A nice oh, yeah, they're so good. I like. I really like that they're going the whole self self made self produced <clears throat> sort of thing. Um, well, they saw it work for BTS, so yeah. So yeah. definitely, I I think JYP understands that, and that's why he's yeah. Uh, you can you can you definitely like feel like he's taking cues from like different like the different boy groups that are really popular. Well, that and I think he's also thinking about uh, sort of this notion of like respect within the hip hop community. Like you have to write yeah. your own rap. Yeah, you, you got to write your own, own shit, or else the yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, that, you know? that's why a lot of people yeah, like slam on like Drake. I think or he wants to have a rap yeah. monster. Sorry, RM. He wants R- to have an RM, a yeah. Zico, you know that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah he definitely uh, wants that sort of like uh, yeah. appeal. It's definitely, definitely like a reason girl idol rappers aren't nearly as like taken seriously. I yeah. feel like usually they don't write their own raps, or mm-hmm. and plus they're usually doing like cutesy style. <laughs> It's yep. like yeah. Yezzy. Yezzy is like the only one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so for Elevator itself, like, I just like how the balance in this song, like, it shows off all of their skills. Like, this mm-hmm. is like three or four, or there's like, probably like three rap verses. Um, like, the high notes in the drop chorus, like, showcase the singing. The choreo is really good. Like, it just shows all, every, like, everything really yeah. well, I thought. It was. It's incredible how well rounded they are. And again, yeah. this is a group that has not debuted yet. And at that, <laughs> at the point of Elevator, this is a group that hasn't even like they didn't even quote unquote finalize the the lineup. Yeah, yeah, yet. it wasn't even yeah. a group yet. Even though we all knew everyone would make it. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> yeah, they, they just, he just made it to like build like I guess like hype a, a hype for the group. So yep. So yep. Uh, with that, I guess is there Next. any uh, last thoughts on Elevator? Nah. No, I re- right, uh, the only so. thing, uh, I really like the <laughs> aesthetic and color palette of the MV. Oh, yeah, yep. that was a really nice yeah, looking MV. Yeah, good color correction. Yeah, yeah. Like, even though it's basically just a dance MV, like, it, I thought it was really good. Yep. <clears throat> so, the next one is, uh, the next track on the list is Beware. Also known as Grr. Oh, grr. okay, this is Grr. Okay. Yeah, this is yeah, Grr I'm, I'm, with, some, I don't remember the Korean word after yeah, it. Yeah, and Apple Music, they just wrote Beware, that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, because that's the English name for it. Yeah. Grr. Yeah, this is uh, like a hype sort of like, um, again, like Monster, Monster X sort Monster of style. X style. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Track. Yep. Like just right from the beginning, the get-go, they go like, they go straight into the, uh, you know, <laughs> hard hip-hop rap yeah, definitely. Uh, sort of stuff. Yeah. Like that, the performance video is really nice. Yeah, I, that's, I, that's, I was that, glad that, they came out with that. Yeah, that's like half the reason why I like it. The, they're... All their core, all their performance videos are so solid so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought like this one's even like even more hype than Elevator, which is like mm-hmm. already a pretty hype song. And yeah. then like I really like, obviously that's just something I'm gonna like if you know my taste. But like <laughs> after the first, ver- like the first verse and chorus, it's EDM, and then the, after the, like the second chorus, it becomes a metal song, mm-hmm. and it was amazing. Like, yeah, that second, or not the chorus, the second rap verse, it's just, in a, it's like, it's literally a metal song. There's it's rapping like, over a heavy metal d- song. D- it's d- amazing. Yeah, dude, like, these, like, yeah. really, it's like, so heavy good. guitar chords and I everything. know. And I yeah. want more of that. Yeah. Like, if that's their, if that's their whole shtick, I'm, this is like, it's not necessarily the male dream catcher, but it's like, maybe, no, kind yeah. of, like, but I could totally want... see, like, a collaboration stage or something. That'd be super good, like, really cool. Yeah, I just need Dreamcatcher to collaborate with all of JYP's artists. Give me oh Day goodness. Six Dreamcatcher, please. That's Dream all catcher. that needs to happen. Dreamcatcher Day Six would be awesome. Dreamcatcher twice. Anyways, exactly. Um, yeah this this song like really went hard, and I really uh, appreciated that. I hope they continue this sort of uh, concept with their music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, also- anyways, um, the next track oh. is "Spread My Wings." Yep. So this also had a performance video. <coughs> yeah. Um, wait, did I, did I? Okay, I'll be honest. I didn't. Yeah, not see this that. one has a performance video. Yeah, too. I, I watched this video right, cool. too. So it, um, pretty cool. Th- yeah, this one's more of like a laid back one. Um, like they mm-hmm. still go hard in the rapping, but the instrumentals are more like <laughs> calmed out and it's more uh, like uplifting in feeling, I guess. Hmm. So yeah, I was gonna say this is more mellow and EDM focused. But this yeah. might be but this might be my hip-hop. favorite song. Like I don't know, it's it's right. hard for me to pick a favorite song on this to be completely honest. But I oh, love yeah, yeah. I love the chorus on this on this <laughs> track. It's insane. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the uh, another thing with uh, Stray Kids is they have pretty strong vocals, actually, as yeah. well. I, I really think they uh, do well in that department as well. Yeah, again, it, it's... Yeah, yeah. It kind of seems very like, well-rounded. Yeah, it kind of seems like Stray Kids is the perfect storm of, like, they have a good rap line, they have great vocals, they can do choreography, they can write their own music. Again, a lot of this just yeah. kind of sounds like we're repeating, like, VTS sort of stuff, but, yeah, uh, but it, 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 definitely, it definitely seems well, like... Well, yeah, like but, like... They can, see, they can see recreating the yeah. BTS is not g- easy. Yeah, that's not easy. That's like a, that's like a flash in the pan, like once in like a, yeah. once kind of thing. Yeah. But if they if JYP is able to do it, like like my my well, hats off to him. Basically, the, those yeah. are the only companies that are going to be able to do it. Is SM JYP? SM, yeah, because it's gonna be YG um, if he wasn't I'd, competent. But yeah, we'll yeah, talk about it, that. It's another gonna be time. very yeah. It, it's gonna be very hard for another big hit to sort of pop up out of nowhere because that's just yeah. sort of like something that's yeah yeah. It's it's very rare, very rare. That's why <laughs> BTS is so insanely like well, popular. Here's, a, here's also another difference in Stray Kids is that six of their members are rappers. <laughs> are rappers? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it, like. No other group has that many yeah, rappers. Yeah, I, I, I can't like because yeah, I don't think I can ever really think of a group that where they, there's yeah. more rappers than there are vocalists. Vocalists, yeah. yeah. So like, I mean, some of those, some of those, really hip hop heavy. Some of those people are vocalists too. Yeah, which but is yeah. nice. Six, six of the nine members have rapper as part of their skill set in the profile. Yeah. The other three are just vocalists. And but all the rappers are like mixed in with the dance like all the dancers can rap mm-hmm. and then uh, some of the rappers can are vocalists too like it yeah don't be don't be surprised if that becomes a trend where you start having like way more rappers most rappers part, yeah as, as part especially of for boy groups mm-hmm. i don't think it'll happen for girl groups but nah. for boy groups definitely it's definitely gonna, i think the majority gonna of members will start to be able to rap because it's somewhat popular now Hmm. Yeah. Uh, one last thing for the song, I really yeah. like the perf- like the aesthetic of the performance video. It reminds me of Fly by Got Seven. Yeah, that's what them, I was thinking it's of. It's them too. on top. It's them on top of a like building on a helipad with like a bright blue sky behind it. Mm-hmm. So like it, it's like really Fly. it's very similar to Fly. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right. So uh, the next song is Ya Ya Ya, which is a cover of the Tiara song. No, it's no, not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. That'd be but, amazing. <laughs> Um, but anyways, uh, this is like starts off really it's strangely. Like it's got like so again the rock guitar again. It's like it's and rap then it, rock. And then all of a sudden uh, starts comes in with the I, trap hi hats. I know. Like <laughs> I was crazy. so disappointed. I want really? like I know. I like okay. I so like that's, I, love this song. I like I like the song. I like the trap. But I just want a rap rock song. Just why couldn't it have been a rock song like a full the full time. Like, yeah, the okay. rock part of it for the chorus and the opening is so good. And then, like, I wish that they just kept that through the rap Yeah, rap I think it would, have been, it would have been better if they committed to, the, like, the, just the rap rock style instead of, like... Like, I don't I don't dislike yeah. the the trap, like, rap verses. The beats are good, but I just it's, want a rap rock song. Yeah, no, just the, the rap rock instrumental is so good. <laughs> it's so good. It goes so well, too, like... Uh, that's something that they do a lot in Korea. Actually, is incorporate guitar and strings with uh, hip hop rap. I don't, yeah, I yeah, which like doesn't do happen in other places. No, I mean I rap know. rock. Rap rock died out. So like, that's why you well, don't get know, that anymore. I know, but still, like, like Epic High uses a lot of strings. But no, yeah, strings and, aren't really know, used. In and I mean, like that. every, I really, I really that's kind really of like that. It's kind of Korea's forte or K-pop's forte where they can they just mash together like every genre that's yeah. popular in yeah, the West yeah, yeah. and they make music out of it. That's kind of been that's kind of what like makes up what's the, that's the kind of the fundamental of K-pop where basically I, it's, just a, it's a combination yeah, of different that, genres. That's yeah. honestly one of my favorite things about K-pop because like I come from before listening to like alternative music which kind of does the same thing, mm-hmm. kind of yeah. just mashing together a bunch of different stuff like pop and rock, pop and. Uh, <laughs> Hip-hop. electronic and like oh, you know all <coughs> sorts of different stuff or stuff that just doesn't even fit in a mold yeah, um, yeah like this song is something that i really appreciate because of that like um yeah the rap they go in on the guitar just goes hard the uh yep. for once the trap beats actually feel like they belong there for me like mm. i really really like this song a lot i i always advocate adding some more strings to any song so yeah and please. i kind of i kind of wish this got a performance video but no too. yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. This I song agree. I want to see. Live. Yo, I want to see it live. <laughs> I'm just like, yo. They performed think, it on the show. Do you think Stray Kids so. could come to KCON? Do you think so? Or yeah, yeah I, I, def- I, I think I could KCON see them. LA. KCON LA probably. That's the only thing. Maybe both. Sorry, Spring Jacob. Both. <laughs> Bias towards LA. On Sorry, really Jacob. Just bring them to both. Yep. Just see them when I'm in Korea. <laughs> if I am able that to go. Too. Uh, 
Moving on. Anyways, I'm um, going on to the next song, uh, track five. This is Glow in all caps. Yep. <laughs> is it all caps? I didn't write it. Yeah, it's all caps, caps on Apple Music for some reason. Uh, versus the other songs are lowercase. Yeah, no, I'm anyway. so no, I'm so CD when I have to like make these title screens or like like the the, <coughs> the slides or whatever. He's like, is this supposed to be in all caps? Is this oh, just see, a- uh, the all caps thing bothers me so much that I just decapitalize everything in K-pop. <laughs> no, like everything is decapitalized. Artist names. Song names, everything. It bothers no, me. It has caps. To be. Yeah, that's the thing. Cause like, there's three different sources where it's like decapitalized on Spotify, but on Wikipedia, everything's capital. I don't know. Yeah, anyway. yeah. That's the thing. You know, you know, idea which one. Yeah, like right. have the art- artists. You need to look uh, at the back of the album. Names. Or like, like black. On my yeah, yeah. Screen. Like twice is all cap. The, or black the- pink is sometimes it's one yeah. word, sometimes it's two words, sometimes it's <laughs> yeah. all capitalized. It's like make up your goddamn yeah. mind. Yeah, but glow. It's like piano based ballad. Yeah, it's it reminds based. me of sort of like a big bang ballad, like that sort <coughs> yeah, of genre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's piano and synths. I'd yep, say this do. is the only st- song that didn't stand out as much to me. Not saying that this one's mm. not good or whatever, because it's definitely good. Because a lot of the rapping on this is really solid. It's just like it's not as hype. Yeah, <laughs> it's not as hype. <laughs> Every other as song yeah, in this album is so. Well, yeah, the whole hype. thing is just hype. But I like this one, like. Cause I like how so it's like piano and synth, and then they add the string. They like build in the chorus of strings, which is really good. Um, yeah, and then uh, like they still gave the rappers the verses, but it showcases the singing a lot more. Yeah, which is nice because yeah. they, they I think yeah they, they definitely need to like showcase their vocalists as well. So. Also, there's like a, a mm. sonar effect synth sound, and I really <laughs> like that sound. That's like going through the song. It's just like a ping every every. <coughs> Or yeah. beat or whatever. Personally, I I like this song a lot as well. Like I I like the entire album pretty much. Um, like I think this is a really strong. Like if this was their debut, I think it's even would be really strong. So I'm actually looking yeah. forward to their official debut. Yep. Um, and the fact that this is all like self produced, like for the most part, is really Insane. amazing yeah. to me. Yeah, I think they. I don't think they like fully produced everything, but they had their yeah, hands yeah. and everything. Oh, like Three Racha had yep. like most of the writing credits and some production credits, even. So yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so, next song is "School Life," yep. and this one is a lot more like sort of like just right off the bat, it's very like happy and. Uh, it, yeah, it's like, like a funky, face, like it's a fun, funky song. You know? It kind of reminds me yeah. of Seventeen, like not now Seventeen, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like maybe like Monse era Seventeen, that sort of thing. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I agree. Like I love Monse it though. and like Aju Nice. Yeah, like in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> um, this is actually yeah, like, my fr- my third favorite song. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I didn't rank them. Yeah, I, I didn't know. either. I think I think my favorite one is Yeah Yeah Yeah, and then uh, like, yeah, I'm not later, sure. Yeah. I'd have to think about it more. But, oh, yeah, I like how the opening and verses are, like, really funky, and then the mm-hmm. chorus is, like, a rock song. Um, I, I like this song. I, I was going to say, I like this song a lot because, like, uh, like <laughs> the instrumentals and vocals sort of uh, remind me of, like, older K-pop, maybe, like, 2013, yeah, yeah. like, mm-hmm. something like that. So, yeah, I really like that. Also, it has a really sweet bridge with the guitar and synths. Yeah, I thought yeah. the bridge in the song was really. Yeah, that, I think that's actually my favorite part, just because it's so, it's so yeah. out of nowhere and it kind of it's like Daft Punk esque in a way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it was, but it's good. Mm. All right, so is that everything? <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, uh, no, we have four, four, one, nine. No, 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 no. no. I mean, for oh, the first school life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not used to uh, going through. The yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You, you kind of just have to pick up on when we're done. Yeah, yeah. Move on. So, um, the next song is uh, four four one nine. Refined over a year, my skills. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, this is another one that's kind of like slower in pace. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know how so, to describe no, it. No, like, okay. So I, I, I think I have the perfect way to describe <laughs> the song. This reminds me of the male version of a song Twice would sing. This sounds like a Twice really? song, but like if a guy group did a like no, Twice like song. This is the, if that this makes is an, sense to me. This is another song that's sort of Big Bang esque to me, like stuff off of like <laughs> Blue or something like but, that. Yeah, I think I say that because the style of singing sounds like Twice. I guess like, that's probably. That, I mean, that's like, probably like JYP's like influence. Yeah. Just almost. like I don't know what about it, but to me, I was like, I could hear a girl group version of a song, and it sounds exactly like what Twice would sing. Like, <laughs> like I don't like know, B side or something. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, like, that's how that. that's how I felt. Like, but. I don't really know how to describe it other than that. 
Um, actually, what I think the artist that came to mind when I listened to this was like Highlight. Yeah, BC. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Calling yeah. you. Yep. So yeah, that sort of like emo boy band sort of thing that or like boy group yeah. sort of thing that was popular back in that day, like 2012 ish. Yep. So mm-hmm. uh, from here, I guess we can do our ratings. Um, yep. I guess either of you can start. I'll go last. Yeah, I can go first. Um, so I think. Uh, so I gave it a six out of six for songs, a uh, two out of three, and a one. So I gave it a nine. I didn't f- like. I think because, like, I really like the aesthetic in the performance videos, but because Elevator was basically just another performance video, like, yeah, it didn't have the enough oomph of a style to give me to a ten. Um, hmm. But I think the songs are fantastic, so that yeah. was a full score. And then I'm definitely gonna. Since there's so much like Monster X, this is definitely going to be high up on my boy group list. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Six out of six for music, because this is this is an amazing debut, like pre debut yeah. even like it's it's not they're not even debut. That's crazy. I kind of like, wish it was their debut, honestly. Yeah, you could totally make yeah. this their debut, like, and nobody would bat an eye. Like it's it's that well done. Like the production is like, amazing. Just like promote Elevator or something, yeah. or something else. Like yeah, like all of these the songs are excellent. Uh, can, I, I just love the production value so much into this, and it's definitely gonna pay off that they when that they do it themselves. So, yeah, yep. three out of three for concept. Well, he gave it a ten out of ten. <laughs> I rated it lower than Andrew. <laughs> this is this like the first backwards time? day? <laughs> yeah, no, it's hey, definitely no, not. No, no, no. I, I mean, we've had like Yucko and stuff, and like all it's not something but, I, it, it's rare. but for something, it's, it's, it's very, very rare, rare, especially for something that I really liked. Yeah. 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 It's very rare, but I mean, you guys already know how highly I value like choreography and all that sort of stuff yeah. when it comes to the visual aspect. Yeah, that's of another it, so. part. Is yeah, I don't really look at that nearly as much as the but MV no, itself. Like it's it's <coughs> excellent. Like a lot of like how they like set up their group is it, they very well utilize like the entire group. And then it's very similar yeah. to one on one. They do like very intricate sort of like set pieces as I like to call them or whatever in the, in their in their videos so I, I love the choreography I love the visual aspect of like all the music videos and everything I love that they yep. got to do like three videos for uh, this mixtape and I hope that releasing multiples is sort of like the, becomes a trend for them because I believe that yeah with a group that's kind of like focus like it, it, kind of like Monster X where it's just like really like hype and like all the choreography is insane, intense I think it, w- it wouldn't do justice to a lot of their songs unless they did multiple music videos and I know JYP has the money for it so that hopefully that's a continuation and no joke obviously I'm gonna give them a bias point so this is a, yeah a 10 out of 10 like again I very rarely give 10 out of 10s and I was deliberating over whether and like whether I was going to give them like a 10 out of 10 but I think this is excellent and it, it, it only just sets the bar like high for whenever they make their debut. So like I have very high expectations. It's all for downhill strangers. from yeah. here. Yeah, basically they this is they it's got to the their next release. They've peaked have or they they have to become Card where they're perfect all the time no matter what. Yep. Because yeah. Card will not put out a ten out of ten, a not ten out of ten album. Mm-hmm. I will um, never give Card anything less. All right, before I give my rating, I'd like to point out that the oldest member of this group was born in 1997. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, like, next hey, year, there's going to be groups that I'm older than the entire group, and yep, it's going to be weird. Welcome crazy. to my world. <laughs> yeah, well, welcome to my world. They're, they're, start, they're oh about to get where the whole group is 10 years younger than me. Oh, God. It's so weird. Some groups, it's already happened. Mm-hmm. Actually, like, I don't know. Is, that, is there a group? I was going to say, is there a group where the oldest member is 2001? No, I think the we're getting all like all the IOI was born in two thousand. All the IOI groups are like night. Well, they usually have older <laughs> members. Oh, wait, so yeah. no, there's one guy in Stray Kids who was born in two thousand one. So Jeez. there's one guy who's ten years younger than you. I think so it'll be a while not, before we hit that. Does so that mean Somi's not far from debuting then? Because Somi's two thousand one. Then come on, yeah. yeah. Give me it next yeah. year. <laughs> I think we're not far from it, but it might be a little bit before Give me this year. The the <laughs> oldest member is two thousand one. Uh, anyways, um, so for music, I'm going, I'd give it a six out of six as well. Um, and the concept would give it three on three, but 
You didn't give them less? Feel, no, no, I actually don't. I don't feel like it's a 10 out of 10, but I yeah. really, really liked it a lot. So I'm just going to not give it a bias point because I feel like it deserves 6 out of 6 and 3 out of 3. Yeah, but so, we need yeah, just we need to switch to a twenty point scale point. so we can give no. nine point fives. <laughs> no, I would I would have given this a nine point five easily. No, I I, I I feel you, I feel you, but I feel like making it as simple as possible is sort of the, like our thing, and I don't have to think too much about it because I it take me like three but weeks Andrew, to figure it out. If yeah. this if we gave it nine point fives, it would become a ten overall, and now it's a nine yeah. overall. It's fine. Either it's, way, it's, it's a truly Daybok album. It's still a truly Daybok album, yes. but like again, I'm, I, I, I'm shocked that I'm the only person that gave this a perfect score. I, we gave this it a perfect a fir- score. Actually, this is the first one. Andrew's the only one who gave something a ten. Yeah, yeah that's definitely. I'm the only a one that. Yeah, that, that, this is this is truly Daybok history. I though. mean, I think the music is a ten out of ten. I just want more out of MVs. Yeah. I mean, that, 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 so, that, that, that's the thing, though. I wish everything was a performance video. I don't really need all the other stuff. I just like the choreography. Oh, I Especially need Goo Don level MVs all the time. Dude, yeah. Goo Don, Red Velvet MVs. Goo Don, come back in a few weeks, and their concept is classy AF. It's, 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 it's Final it. Fantasy. That yeah. Hana picture looked amazing. I posted it, it in the chat. chat. I yeah. saw it in the chat, but I didn't look at all the pictures, like, one-on-one. Um, anyways... Do. Topic two. Speaking of IOI. Yeah, speaking of IOI, Offset, mini album, Chung Ah. I bought go. both versions. Oh, you did? Oh yeah. my god, Nate. I'm buy- I bought, yeah, I bought, I I went crazy on every IOI. Every IOI branch yes, group album. I've, I already owned this album, I bought this what version. What if Somi joined twice, then you'd have to buy every, every <laughs> version of, of uh, twice the gram. Japanese well, plus I also want to, like, start buying, <laughs> like... If they start putting out other shit, and Twice has like four photo books already, oh, and like I can't get into they that. put out Twice TV on DVD, so oh, like I, I can't get into I that. And they're already like Twice TV seven, and like <laughs> I'm oh, only man. buying the I, I bought the concert Blu-ray. That's all I'm sticking to with Twice. In Twice Land. Yeah, I'll buy the concerts. I'm not buying. I'm totally gonna just sit. I'm gonna watch that for three hours on my OLED TV in my living room, just waving my candy bong like a no, <laughs> Wait, like a fa- 4K, normal fan. 4K. I bought no. no, it's just normal Blu-ray. It's just yeah. <laughs> That's DVD and Blu-ray, not yeah, yeah. not Ultra HD. Okay. Anyways, let's Speaking. get into the first track of Chung Ah's album. It's like an intro. It's called Offset. Yep. Which so I really like this. Is it? It's what, it's what basically is it? Is it trance. Uh, no, like, I, I don't really I, know how bit, to describe it. it. I don't really know. I'm not good with the electronics. I don't know. Like, I, it's it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't put a genre on it. I basically said it's an intro dance break because that's it's, what it's made it's, for. Like, it, it's a big. It's definitely it has house and trans influences. It's in it, it's in yeah. so. it's an intro, but it's not really a song intro. It's made yeah. for her her comeback for, stage yeah. where she does choreo to it, which she did yeah. on M Countdown. But why is it? Why isn't this I a full really song? Like this. <laughs> Why isn't this a full song? This is like this is our sa- yeah, the same Cooper thing that we had with Hands on Me. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so they're like, giving I, her I, amazing intros. That could seriously, be full I'm gonna songs. listen to this mini album like in order now with the intro because I really like the intro. Like that's rare too that I like actually want to listen to the intro. Oh, I so, love yeah. K-pop. I don't know why, but K-pop intros are always so good. Yeah, especially like on like G Friend albums and two. Yeah, like, yeah, the, the exactly. Or on, on I Circle, remember? Because freaking uh, what what do you call it? Oh the, yeah, yeah. Odd, odd, odd sets up girlfriend or whatever. But right? Odd Front. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the version of the song I listen to is Odd Front. <laughs> um. Anyways, um. <laughs> after that, we go right into track two, which is the title track, which is Roller Coaster. Which is, according to Nate, the best card song of the year. It is the best card song of the year. It is the best <laughs> music, card music video of the year. <laughs> Add Chung uh, out a card. <laughs> best, best card female solo artist of the year. Yes. Um, Sorry, son, me. Your comeback anyways, wasn't gosh so, enough. Like, I immediately like this off my no, this song, like, first yeah. listen. It was really good. So, yeah, it's like reminiscent of Why Don't You Know, but I think it's like way catchier. It's, I think this is better than Why Don't You Know easily. Yeah, I yeah, can, I, I, can, I could say that. I could say that. But um, it's reminiscent of it for sure. Because yeah. this song is more um, like uh, Deep House as opposed to where yeah, Why Tropical Don't You House. Know is Tropical House. Um, but yeah, they definitely have 
that like helps. Similarities, yeah. The similarities. That, that, that seems to be Chunga's go-to when it comes to her <coughs> singles. Um, That's why uh, I love her. I don't know if you remember, but uh, when I reviewed, or w- during my review of Why Don't You Know, uh, my problem was with the chorus. Like, it kind of seems like she was straining her voice to hit those high notes. Yeah, I don't have that problem yeah. with this, where she, mm. she definitely keeps it mm. more within her range. Uh, the yeah. only thing is, though, it's kind of... It's kind of interesting how it switches from that sort of uh, like deep house sort of vibe for the verses, and then it's um, yeah. more of an electro pop, mm-hmm. dance pop mm-hmm. type of song for the, the verse, like the, the chorus. chorus, which I don't mind. Yeah. I, I love I love that too. But yeah, it's definitely an interesting like sort of take on it. But yeah, I think it, it, it works well. <clears throat> One thing about this song that I found uh, pretty cool that it's not often that I find this like observation is it sounds like old school K-pop to me, but also like new American music at the same time. Yeah. yeah, so like you can definitely I, I feel the American influence on, on, yeah, on yeah. all of her music. Yep, like the yeah. the chorus is the catchiest part. Like, <coughs> yeah, just like it's it's super I, infectious and it's like a perfect hook. So whoever like yep. produced this, like, good on it's them. It's uh, too. it's it's a Black Eyed Pills song song. Oh, um, that explains a, it. Wait, no, but it's surprising. <laughs> like, it's surprising that it doesn't because we've sort of been ingrained. Like, oh, this is what a Black Eyed Pills song song sounds like when we hear twice or whatever like that. But yeah. they did a very good job of like uh. Of sort Making of masking unique. their style, like yeah, it, yeah. It, it's not yeah. like it, it's not a overplayed cliche. So that, it's that's yeah, like, it's good production. Yeah, like I didn't even I couldn't even tell that it was Black Eyed Peel song. Like yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah fantastic. But yeah, I, I like I, I like how this shows off her vocals way better too than Why Don't You Know. Well, like it really, yeah, yeah. Like her, like you said, she stays in her range, so she doesn't sound strange like straining, and like yeah. she, but she still hits like high notes and like does a lot of good things with her voice. And then oh, another the MV aesthetic with the neon yeah. is just like so amazing. Weird. It's so it's good. So weird. I like the part like where she it's has projected like... a roller coaster on the wall. And she's yeah, just yeah. Like she's not even joking. Wait, yeah. not even joking because. There was a time like I in middle school stuff. when I was obsessed with the roller coasters. So I think I actually recognize the roller coasters that are in this music video. <laughs> it's like this one. It's like like one of them is like this. Basically, it's sort of like how like carnivals they can like pack up like different rides yeah. or whatever and bring it to. It's like it's called like an Olympia Looper or something like that. It's like it's a popular one in Europe or whatever. It has like five loops. I'm just like, oh my god, mm. I know that roller coaster. <laughs> it's like the <laughs> weirdest deep cut ever. But like I was obsessed yeah. with the, I'm obsessed with roller coasters. So I obviously have to like this song. But no, okay. yeah, I love the neon and everything. I so I couldn't I couldn't put my finger on it. Uh, what the, like there's another song that the song was reminding me of. I couldn't put my finger on it, and now I think I know. It's the the Numa Numa song. <laughs> What? That's what it was reminding me of How? for some reason in the chorus. I don't know it's why. Like it's like nothing like music. Numa Numa. I think, I think it's the background music, to be honest. Either that or it's just some weird synapse connection in my head. Yeah, like, I don't know. You'd have to go listen to those two back to back and you'll be like, what the hell am I talking about? I don't know why, but like, it's just like, I don't know. Anyways. Okay, I need, I, need, I need your guys' opinions. <laughs> Yes, Chunga wig or no Chunga wig? No Chunga wig. wig. Yeah, I, th- no. that was kind of weird the for short me. short hair. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I like, like her with long hair. Yeah, yeah I like her with. I long mean, hair. she doesn't look bad, but it, it, yeah. I, I she looks way she, better with long her normal hair. Because it's just it's probably because she has like she has she's bangs, always had long hair. And yeah, she the, has, then, it, it, the bangs kind of throw yeah. it off because we've she's yep. like sort of she hasn't had bangs, so like we're she's we're always had long hair and she's never had bangs, so like yeah, it's so completely how, opposite. Yeah, we're used to how her face is contoured. Noma, noma, noma. No, did she? You might be right, actually. I don't know. Someone look it up. It's too loud to type on my keyboard, so I can't type <laughs> on my keyboard. <laughs> I don't even know if you can hear mine, but... Yeah, she did. Um, she did. Yeah, she oh, did. Okay. okay. I still... Yeah, I, I'm more used to... But she's never did. had the little short hair with the bangs, yeah. so, like... It looks yeah, weird. she had bangs and purple eyebrows, if you recall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but I guess one thing, I guess, just to say with Chang'e in general is that she kind She's perfect. Well, that's just like I think the reason why we might like her so much is kind of her vocals kind of remind oh. me of Taeyeon, but her performance yeah. kind of reminds me of Tiffany. So that's like mm. your like that's like your guy's perfect lit girl right there. Yeah. It's like, it's your bias in one. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, she is my IOI bias, mm-hmm. so there's that. Yeah, because she her, like her vocals. Her vocals definitely remind She's me. She's my of IOI, bi- IOI bias too. She's my IOI everyone, bias because I can't. Everyone in like, IOI is my bias. Is my how I bias because I can't say so me and for like another couple of years. <laughs> Kamina, that's true. I was that, Kamina, you. not your, but yeah, you, you like. It's hard wait. to pick an I I bias, damn it. Well, yeah, Doyun, Mina, <laughs> Chunga, everyone. I mean, we get All three bias in I I. No, so. we get. I, I, I get eleven. No, two. We get two because there's eleven members. No, I'm over the limit at this point. I get eleven members as a bias. 
Yeah, it's could, fine. All right, all right. You can take that president. <laughs> executive decision. Just, it's just okay, it's let's just, move on. Executive decision. Let's Anyways, move on. Next song is called uh, "Do It" and by Ariana Grande. This is yeah, an Ariana. It, it, this is exactly yes. like an Ariana Grande song. Which the only thing missing why, was a rap break. Which might be why it's I really don't good, like though. it. As I really much, like though. the song a lot. Yeah. No, I, I didn't though, because it, like, the verses are fine. Like, I, mm. it's kind of like that, like straight up like a reggae vibe. But when yeah, it comes yeah. to the, when it comes to the chorus, it kind of follows. I don't know if you've heard. I'm sure you've heard of it. But you don't know. Really, maybe not like, not recently. But do you know that song with Jesse J, Ariana Grande, Nicki Minaj, Bang Bang? Oh yeah. Like, well, of course. Well, we know yeah. That. We yeah. I'm per- yeah. I'm trying to uh, choreo it for Produce One Hundred One. Yeah, but um. Like the chorus kind of Those follows Avengers, that, yeah. like the same chorus of that, like maybe a bit too closely. So it kind of just I stuck out that. in my in my ear. But um, other than that, like again, it, it, it's a good vocal, it's a good vocal performance. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that kind of bothered me too much. For it. I don't, I don't think it was too similar for me. Um, I didn't even make that connection. To be I didn't honest, either. But like, no, no, um, I, I made the connection to Ariana Grande, but I didn't make it to a specific yeah. song. Well, that, I was just like, this sounds well, like an American pop song. <laughs> I, I yeah I connect the American pop songs to K-pop and I'm just like oh wait this sounds too familiar yeah well I mean Chunga is kind of American. <laughs> well, yeah she's yeah, American she, she pretty much no, is, she American. is American she spent most like she spent like half her life she's, in, Ameri- she's an American citizen I think so. yeah she's from Texas she was born here from Texas yeah Cooper what's so good about Cooper-y. Donald's stupid Texas <laughs> <laughs> no I love Texas I mean um, it doesn't the other thing that like making it sound like an American pop song is it has a lot more English than the other songs too so like. Yeah, I kind of actually. That's well, this I one know- was definitely written in English first, though. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually 100%. noticed that with Roller Coaster too. There was a lot of English in that. Well, song yeah. Too, so. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. She should she should release some of her music in English. I don't know how much I, she I'm, did. I'm, I'm, I wish she'd do a, like an international version, like Jessica does for mm-hmm. her albums. That yeah, might be a lot. Be, that might be a lot of work for M N H though. Because I was say, yeah, M N H doesn't have money. Yeah. this isn't Coradel. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe she helped with the lyrics or something. I don't know. We'll see. That's true, but I could I could see I could see her probably writing it in English, maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So next song is track four, which is "Bad Boy," which is a cover of the Big Bang song. No, it's not. <laughs> but it is an electro swing song. Yes, this song reminded me of uh, freaking um, Showgirls on uh, yeah, SNSD's yeah, yeah. Lionheart album. Yeah. This gave me we like for me yeah, the Showgirls. Similar sort of. It also reminded me of "Girls Are Back" on uh, All Night or Holiday Night. Or no, it, it kind of gave. It definitely gives me TTS vibes, just from like yeah, one yeah, person. Yeah, yeah that's that sort of like, and... yeah, like sort of swing. Well, you, she vibe. is, she is, tiny personified. Yeah, she's so she's. We tiny just threw some soy on in there, and yeah, we're good. And this she's is sort TTS. of like <laughs> it, it's sort of like the it's sort of like the the sequel to Hands on Me, where it's an actually a full song that's sort of in, in a swing vibe, whereas that yeah. was just like the that was just a, the yeah. intro. So like yeah, the, maybe we'll get an offset. Actual Whole song, yeah, sequel, on the third album. Yeah, but this I was so. this was excellent. Like I, I like this song a lot better than um than do it. Yeah, yeah. Like I really like the brass in the song, and then during her the bridge, she shows off her vocals. Like she shows off her vocals really well in the song, but during the bridge, she like it's really really good. That's that's probably yeah. why I like uh, her doing this sort of like swing style of vocals is because a lot of it's like predicated on hitting a lot of high notes, and that's. Or yeah. like yeah, Chunga has an in, in, insane range for mm-hmm. a female vocalist, yep. especially. So yeah, she she can definitely. Uh, I, I want more <coughs> in this style. I hope she does. Um, I hope she does this song live <coughs> because she could do a totally really cool like over the top uh, sort of like just big band big show like sort yeah, of yeah flapper dresses everyone yeah, exactly. in like shiny sequins sort of stuff like yeah she could pull that off. Yep. Uh, so anyways, the last song it's a ballad. Yeah, he said it. You. He said it. <laughs> it's my catchphrase, but he had to say it, and I wasn't sure if he would. Sure, it's coming soon. So it's ballad, but it's a really, really, really good ballad. Yeah, it's a very I, I chilling really ballad. This, one a lot. this is yeah. like you are yeah. level ballad to me. Yeah. Yep. I think yeah, that's why. I, look, I forget if like. Uh, yeah, no. I pretty much I put weak over. Why uh, don't you know? That's how much I love Ch- uh, yeah. Chunga's ballads. Yeah, yeah. she's excellent at them well because she she can go like really high so i think her vocals really fit the sort of um like power ballads really well <laughs> yeah yeah, so, yeah I, I definitely really really like the song i didn't i can't wait to, uh i i only listened to the album on my phone today so i can't wait to listen to listen it on my good uh, headphones. sennheiser headphones yeah yeah i didn't even realize this but i wrote it's a really 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 good ballad so it's an omen 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 ballad yeah yep <laughs> 
nom 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 good ballad yeah good ballad that's what I meant mm-hmm. nice <coughs> alright so with that ratings ratings once again so I gave it straight away you're gonna know I didn't give it a 10 I gave it a 5 out of 6 for songs I didn't think it was perfect I thought it was really yeah. solid for songs <coughs> Um, I gave it a three out of three because I love the neon, and I thought the choreo was good. Choreo for offsets really good too. <coughs> and then obviously, I gave it a one, so nine. Uh, for me, five Amazing. out of six. Yeah, it's not perfect, but on the songs that I did like, she did very well on. Especially, I, 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 lo- I love the ballad again. I kind of wish, uh, I kind of wish she'd release another ballad single again, just because I, lo- I loved Week so much. So. Yeah. Um, two out of three for concept. Like, it, it's choreo was good. Visuals are kind of like good slash weird, but yeah, I get mm. nothing that's really blew me away. I guess in term, I guess visually, I still kind of like. Why don't you know this video better? So mm. I guess I sort of factor that in. And obviously, I'm gonna give a. I'd give two out, out of one freaking bias points for Chang if I could. Two out of one. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 but no, I'm I'm not gonna break the system yet. So I give it an eight out of ten. You're not gonna break the system <laughs> yet. 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 <laughs> Yet. He there, said there. it. And when he breaks the system, I'm starting to give 9.5s. <laughs> <laughs> and then we are then we have no loss. Anyways. Yeah. Um, 99 uh, out of 100. Yeah, so uh, for me, I gave it a 6 out of 6 for music. I actually liked all the songs a lot. <laughs> I li- um, See, I liked all the songs, but nothing like blew me away. So that's why I didn't oh, give it a Roller Coaster blew that's me away. Cool. Offset blew me away. I really like Do It. I really like Bad Boy. Remind yeah. Me of You blew me away. Yeah. I, I really like this uh, album a lot. So I'm going to 6 out of 6 for music. And then uh, 2 out of 3 for concept. Oh, I, was, just cause, I thought you were going to give it a 10 and I wasn't. And it was going to be two in a row. Oh, uh, that would have been, been really weird. Especially because um, it's a chunk of album. I want to give it a 9.5 like you said. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I'd like, give, I would give this a 9.5 too. But. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's absolutely perfect. Um, but yeah, like the... I really like the MV... Um, but it's nothing like round breaking as far as that goes. Mm. Yeah. Um, like I'm because usually what I do with concept is I like compare it to their last concept and sort of go from there. Mm. So yeah, yeah. With uh with this release, I'd say it's like on par. So I give it two out of three for concept, and then uh, one on one obviously for bias point because she is my bias for mm. my why. Yep. So and she's also time. my chunk out bias. Oh my god. <laughs> she's your chunk out bias. I wonder go? who your bias is. There we go. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I gave it a 9 out of 10, which, yep. would that nine bring it ten. back to 9? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that makes it an nine, average nine, of 9, nine. so... <laughs> yes, truly day by 8.6 oh, no. repeating, so 9. <laughs> yes. Yep, we get All the right. shiny seal again. Yes. Let's go for Is four shiny get, everything seals. Everything might get shiny on this. Uh, on four this, shiny uh, seals. I, uh, no, probably not. Um, All right, so, anyways, this, uh, this next album <laughs> is... Secret Jacob's, Garden. Jacob's reacting to this album yeah, as yeah, we I'm speak because he forgot to listen to it. This. You forgot it. You forgot. Oh, my girl existed. How dare you? <laughs> no, I didn't forget it existed. I didn't realize we were re- reviewing this for some reason. He missed the messages. Yeah. Um. Anyways, we will be. Um. I'll be reacting to, and they'll be reviewing. Uh, Secret yep. Garden, which is a mini album from Oh My Girl. Yep. Um. Track one is Secret Garden. Yep. I guess I'll go. I'll I'll explain yeah, it you since you don't know. This. So I mean, this is like to me, this is an upbeat closer. So like, it's similar to closer, but it's way more upbeat. Dude, um, closer with like, is like one of my closer is my favorite. Uh, yeah, it is my favorite. I or OMG uh, track and single, but this is and then the strings reminded me of an early <laughs> IU song. Um, although one t- although one time I was listening to Closer and one of the Korean girls was making fun of me because I was listening to Oh My Girl. Oh My, hey, girl. Oh my Girl's good. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no that's like, just in general, all K-pop is like... if you're, really? She'd probably make fun of him for listening to anything that isn't like BTS or Twice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he's listening to new groups but, that no wait, one knows. You should have you watched the music video, Jacob. They had well, the she, mel- she knew who Oh My Girl was. But yeah, yeah. Um, you should watch the music video. They had they had the velvet dresses that you loved so much from. Oh the yeah, show. I see that. Video. I see that in the album cover. So like, so this song is good, but <coughs> I think so. Like, I don't want to sound down on it, but as we get through the album, it's easily like the most generic and like <laughs> safe song. If that makes sense, like, yeah. Safe, Sounds safe is a me, probably better I word. Like this song safe. So far. Safe is probably a better word than generic, because the rest yeah. of the album is like so experimental and weird, yeah. and it turns out so yeah. good that like is, this was easily my least favorite song on the album. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see it. Because for me, when it comes to Oh My Girl, um, pretty much <laughs> Pink Ocean's my favorite like album from them. And it mm-hmm. so far, it's just been really hard for them to just sort of match that Pink Ocean's level of... And even with like the repackage with Windy Day. And, like, I feel like they did... So yeah, coloring. They had coloring a book, which is sort of like liar liar, which is like a like their like fast like upbeat sort of song, and then secret. Yeah. Then they had windy day, which is I guess it's sort of similar to like secret garden, where it's just like a chiller or like slower paced sort of song. And I guess I kind of yeah. like, I kind of like the coloring books and the liar liars more from uh, Oh My Girl than this yeah. sort of thing. But see, I mean, yeah, it, it definitely feels safe in a way. Yeah, but, yeah. see, you know. I like I like closer like Jacob, but they haven't done closer. Past yeah, closer. They haven't even got close. But to that kind of the stuff album tracks on this are closer, and that's yeah. why I'm like, they should have just made one thing ab- other yeah. songs. The title. If there's other, <clears throat> if there's one thing about Oh My Girl, uh, is that it's that I love. Yeah, I love their. Uh, I love their album tracks. Like again, the going back to mm-hmm. Pink Ocean, which is like yeah, yeah. so excellent. Mm. So okay, Jacob, live reactions. So yeah, I actually, I actually like this song quite <laughs> See, a bit. He's so not, far from... he's not biased by listening to the rest of the album, which makes him down on this yeah. song. He, yeah, <laughs> like, I'm, not, we're I'm not... not down on the song at all. I think it's pretty good. Um, but, it reminds me of like G Friend crossed with like probably uh, yeah, yeah G Friend or like early IU album track early IU like with the strings. Yeah, yeah, and yeah I stuff can see IU too. Yeah, like yeah, older IU. Yeah. Yep. Um, that's exactly what, so like we sound down on it because the rest of the album is so good but I think it's right, a well, good I'm song to the following it's a good then. song it's just it's the most safe and boring yeah. song hopefully your hype doesn't kill my score <laughs> oh no it won't get this next song is like one of my Weird. favorite K-pop All songs right. in a long time so then let's go into song number two Love O'Clock this is like what drive time is it? for me this Love is Love O'Clock this is like a mysterious cosmic <laughs> vibe, like really similar to Closer, and then the, like a hardcore rap section comes out of nowhere, and it's amazing. It's <laughs> okay. amazing. Exactly. This this song like, is so good. It reminds me of like off the back. It reminds me of something like Gorillas would come out with. <laughs> it, it, that's why I said because didn't you say that about Drive? I said this is like Drive from Yuna's album. Like it's just this weird mysterious song, and I love it. This is probably yeah, like if they had like a featuring like female vocalist or something like that. I could see. I'm, like, I'm just waiting for Jacob's face when he gets the, the rap, the rap section. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anyways, cause... you guys react while I'm listening. But yeah, th- this song is probably closer to Windy Day, even more than Secret <laughs> Garden is, because it definitely has this similar sort of vibe to to Windy Day. But yeah, this this song was great. The rap part, not even getting to the rap part. I love like the instrumentals it's... and like the weird like sort of yeah, like, yeah. feel to it. Yeah, it's it... this is what I like out of Oh My Girl, definitely. Yeah. It reminded me of, like, a Cosmic Girl song almost, because it's got, yeah, like, a way, cosmic, a weird yeah. vibe to it. And then, yeah, then Hardcore Rap section goes out of nowhere, and I was like, holy crap, like, Oh My Girl has actual they rappers. They finally did it! They, like, After so long! They rapped, and they rapped very well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> I, it's, defi- it's definitely an underrated rap line. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I honestly think this should have been the title track. Yeah, I don't know why they couldn't have, because, again... They made they had Windy Day before and Windy Day was a popular song so it's yeah. not like this couldn't have Isn't done that like well. Is like the most popular song? No, I think their most popular would still have to be either maybe like Liar Liar or the Yeah, Liar Project. Liar is probably their most popular. Yeah. You get the take up. No, I'm waiting no. for it. There's so many build ups and then they go into singing again. <laughs> oh, see. <laughs> like you got me anticipating it now. Oh, here it is. What does this sound like? This sounds like uh Something. Oh. Wait, who who are the rappers in this group? I don't oh, know. God, I don't so know. Oh, I'm girl. Oh, my girl's uh, names. Yeah, very yeah. Well. I'm really bad. The only people I only I know, know like Beanie and, and Geo. I only know Beanie and Ari. You are you are and Ari. And you are you because Beanie's my bias. Or, yeah, so. you are. That's true. So I guess I know most of them, but I don't Wait, know which ones are rappers. Who's the girl with the nice teeth? Who's in the middle? <laughs> what? The one with the nice teeth. I'm not looking at. Anyways, know. um, yeah, this song is, I like this song a lot, like, um, it's like a girlier, like, gorilla song to me, and then there's the hardcore rap <laughs> in the middle, gorilla like, song, for a Jesus girl group Christ. song. Um, <laughs> Gorillaz is, like, the least girly song you no, can I get. No, I know, but, like, and this is like, something this is that a I could, like, if they, song. like, say if they produced for a girl group, I feel like this is what they'd come up with. Yeah. Like, the, the, what they did with, like, the sound effects and stuff like that in the beginning. I, I don't know. Anyways. Um, yep. Yeah, I really, I really like the song. The vocals were nice. The, uh, the flow was good. The rap was unexpected, but it was cool. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I like the song. 
Yep. So, going into the third song, Butterfly. <laughs> yep, so this is more traditional, like, Oh My Girl acoustic pop song. Like, this yep. one This yep. one definitely didn't stand out as much. <laughs> um, but it has another, like, rap part that is also very good that I didn't expect. <laughs> See, like, normally I don't like any of this, like, sort of maybe generic sounding or safe sounding girl group songs but when it comes to oh my girl it's like they're like the one exception because i love this uh, sort of style from them so yeah this is butterfly was actually one of my favorite songs because again all, all the songs off of pink ocean sounded like this so yeah, this is just kind of more in that in that sort of style yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I like this actually it sounds to me like uh something a pink would do which yeah, yeah which I is funny A-Pink. considering i don't like a pink that that much in oh, comparison blasphemy <laughs> Well, no, I, I like got... them. I like them, but I mean, I, I probably Flash still have, like more. I, oh my girl, more panda than that. The, the panda bong it disapproves. Um, yes, but yeah, like I, I again, I saw, probably sound down for this song when I don't. I'm not really down. Like I like the song, but it, like love o'clock being sandwiched by these <laughs> safer songs yeah. just it, it amplifies how much I like that song, and it makes me f- it makes it seem like I don't like these two songs as much. Because I yeah. just love a clock. I just like that. You love I, love a clock. <laughs> I love love a clock, and I want that like weird, mysterious stuff to happen more often. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this song, I um, I think it's pretty good. It reminds me of like specifically. I think if uh, Chodong from A Pink sung this, it would sound really good because her voice is very soft. And, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she is a know, very, pillowy. very girly, very girly <laughs> so. voice. Yeah. Um, again, now I just re- that's right, I do think the rap again. That's probably yeah, like, that's probably good. why the rap stands yeah, yeah. Out, stands out so much. If there's one thing I would sort of knock yeah. against "Oh My Girl" is that a lot of their vocals sound very similar. So that's why, like, whoa, the yeah. rap comes just like comes out of nowhere. <laughs> mm. Yep. So uh, the next song on the album is "16," which is a cover of the song of the by the Sammy. Twice. <laughs> no, uh, no, I thought you were not. gonna say the by the sixteen girls. The title track for sixteen. <laughs> um. Yes, yeah, so this one's like this is just like a fun song. This like a really mm. fun nature to it. It's got like the la part, la 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 part, and then Which the is, chorus. Yeah. The chorus is like a anthem, like group chorus. Where reminds all me of singing. a Magic Dragon song, actually. No, if so, it, like, it, for me, it actually reminds me of Red Velvet <laughs> in a way because it. Mm. Like I don't know if you guys can sort of un- feel that in that, uh, but the instrumentals definitely sort of remind me of Red Velvet. But yeah, yeah, yeah. with g- with the group vocals, that's sort of like what I love from Oh My Girl. That's kind of like their whole. That's kind of like their whole thing. Like in all of their song, all of their like popular songs, like Liar yeah. Liar or Aying or Coloring Book. Like there's just like some type of group vocal or something during yeah, the yeah. chorus. So. Yep. Yeah, this, no, this song, uh, I listen to a lot of Imagine Dragons, actually, like, when I'm not listening to K-pop. Mm-hmm. Like, there are three How albums dare are all, you not like, listen nine to K-pop. To How me. dare you not listen to K-pop, I say, as I listen to freaking Western uh, Tropical House. Anyways. I don't um, listen to Western yeah, Tropical Yeah, no, the, the, this song, in the, especially in the chorus, is so, like, percussion-heavy. Um, yeah. It reminds me of the songs, like, uh, from Imagine Dragons, specifically, uh, I Bet My Life, and, <laughs> like, On Top of the World, stuff like that. It sounds... I, I really like this, actually. I think this is my favorite so far. Nodding actually. my head in agreement, as I have no idea what those songs are. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'll send them to you. They're really good. Like, even if... The, you'll like them. They're I mean, good. I've heard of Imagine Dragon songs before, and I've liked them, but yeah, I just wait, don't know Side note, radio, Radioactive <coughs> is, like, one of my favorite songs of all time. Radioactive! Yeah. yeah. Anyways. I do know um, that song. Yeah. There's also a good rap in this song as well. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah. I, I just stopped I saying it because it came out on every <laughs> track, except for yeah. the title track, which is another thing that bothered me. It's so safe. Yeah, I feel like and they this should've... and Love O'Clock could have been a title track. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like every el- song on the album, other than Secret mm-hmm. Garden, would have been a better title yeah. track. Probably yeah. because it actually had, a, probably because of the raps. <laughs> Not but, even because of the raps. Right, just, if, if yeah, they, they're they're better, better title tracks. Yeah. If they change they're, title tracks, they have to keep the velvet dresses. <laughs> I'm yeah. fine with that. I just I'm fine with that. The visuals for the mu- <laughs> like the, the music video of Secret Garden, I don't mind. It's just yeah. No, it, I'm just telling their company they have to keep the velvet <laughs> dresses. Yeah, come on, WM. Anyways, okay. um, going on into the next so, song, which is another magic crazy song to me. So this is like minimalist electro pop with like a really sensual vibe to it, which is like nothing like I'd expect from OMG. It's the- like very sensual. If that, I love like, the that's the best way to describe it. Like that, the baseline is like really like dope on this. The if you get just, if you if you feel it, yeah, that song is just like I don't. It's 
I just did not expect something like that. And it's another like really awesome song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's another I one like of my favorites. I like how minimalist it is. Mm-hmm. One thing I like immediately <laughs> is the uh, like the particle effects that are like the mm-hmm. almost like bubbly uh, yeah. sound effects. Boop, boop. Yeah, I like those a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's yep. yeah, they're, 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 it's kind of like it's kind of this is probably their most like Owl City esque song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see that. Oh, Breaking Boss. Yeah, um, like Nate said, it's it's pretty minimalist. I I, li- I actually enjoy that fact. Um, like I like having yeah, yeah. a lot of space in my yep. uh, music, like in between like different layers and stuff. Mm-hmm. Especially when I'm uh, especially when I'm using my good headphones, I can take advantage of the uh, you know the sound stage and stuff like that. Even though they don't have a huge sound stage. Anyways, I'm getting into headphone nerd <laughs> stuff. So let's uh, let's review this album. <laughs> Yep. So for me, uh, so like I said, it sounded like I was down on both Secret Garden and Butterfly, but I gave it a five out of six. I think if Secret mm-hmm. Garden swapped, it was better. Yeah, if Secret Garden was just an album track or the cover, not of even on the Pink song, <laughs> it is a cover of an A Pink song. <laughs> Secret Garden, you missed that one. Yeah, um, I missed it. If it was, yeah, just like I think if it wasn't there or swapped, I, it would have been, been a six. Um, yeah. And then I originally actually only gave them a one out of three for style because I wasn't really a huge fan of the MV oh, either. <clears throat> but I think I'm going to bump it up because yeah, I don't think it's... Al- I don't think... Dresses. Well, not because of the velvet dresses, just because I don't think this is a, is a seven out of ten. I, I think it's an eight out of ten for me. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So I give them two, two out of three and then a one out of one. So eight out of ten overall. Mm. Yeah, I gave it the same score because it just I just have like I love all my girl like all my girls like one of my favorite groups so but like yeah. I have, so I have such high expectations for them and I'm just like coloring book was pretty close to that but again it's just like it's kind of it I guess it's kind of it seems like it's kind of hard for them to hit um like liar liar levels again so maybe they should yeah. m- maybe they should trend towards back towards that sort of style yeah. I, I know well, that for the, title tracks that is I definitely yeah. agree yeah they, they, or just go weird as hell and make level clock your title track. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we need uh, more to weird groups. Me. But so yeah, I'd probably agree with you guys. Um, five out of six, two out of three, three and then one out of one. Um, yep. I I really actually surprisingly enjoyed a lot of that because I'm not too <coughs> high on Oh My Girl usually, but like, yeah, I, I enjoyed this album a lot. Yeah, um, I thought you would. Yeah, my standouts were Love O'Clock, Sixteen, and Magic. Like you yep, guys, so same yeah, thing. I think Sixteen is my favorite one though. Um, yeah. So, 8 out of 10. I think it's a really yep. solid album. Unanimous yeah. 8 out of 10. Not the shiny one, though. Unfortunately, no shiny, but, we're not getting but four shinies in a row. But yeah. we're getting seal. We're definitely going to seal approval on all these albums. Because if yeah. we don't get a seal of approval on Momoland, I'm going to I quit the podcast. Yep. <laughs> yep. Come on. Come on. Here we go. That's my favorite. Right, my my favorite. I was waiting for this. So, Momoland. You have to say it. Great. Oh, you didn't see Mini me. album. Great! You gotta say it like Great. they do. Great! Yeah, there we go. Um, anyways, uh, which they don't put in the album, like on the MV, which makes me sad. <laughs> wait, wait, no, what are, you, what are you talking about? It says great when. I, no, I but even... have you what? watched any of the live performances? Oh, they wait, actually they... say great. Oh no, every they time, say, really, really? like every th- yeah, go watch it because the crowd says it too. It's like it's amazing. Yeah. Go to go watch a live for you. Can, just wait, go they, do they, it right now because it's right at the they beginning. Have a fandom? You yeah. have to, yeah, yeah. They got a first place. They, they won, won with this song. Oh, no, I got I their first win. If they had a fandom name already, oh, a name. The color fandom great. That'd be amazing. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. But yeah, at, at the beginning when it says it, like they actually say great. The crowd says it, and it's like it's adorable. I want them to do a collaboration with Momo. <laughs> well, uh, and plus Momo. Nance, Nance, Ma- oh, she was on the show. Because they had oh, a... Momo they Land had a, show? Yeah, like making Momo that's, Land or whatever. Because uh, she's friends with Nancy, because Nancy used to be a JYP yeah, trainee. Yeah, former oh, okay. JYP trainee. Did so she, they ever she, like, call uh, jokes about her being Momo in their Momo Land? Uh, I think, like, I mean, I think that's why they had her call Nancy. Oh, okay. Like, just because of the name. Because she wasn't actually on the show. I think she just called Nancy, or yeah. Nancy called her Anyways. or something. Anyways... Track one is the title track, Boom Boom, which is a uh, it's a cover. It's a cover. Of the 17 song. Of the seven. No, it's not. You're gonna confuse people. All now. of these albums have <laughs> tracks of the same name. Because <laughs> there's another one. The fourth song in this album is a cover too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, we'll get so to that many one. covers. <laughs> 
But no, yeah, like this this song is amazing. It's I easily, like it's easily the best Momo <laughs> and song. Yeah, not it's even, easily oh, yeah. not easily even the best song. This is the first one it's to like, really stand out for me. So I really liked well, I really liked their debut and freeze. The only mm-hmm. one I didn't like was wait, the wait. like generic one dabbing one. Yeah, that was generic. But, like, because I like their debut, which I can never remember the name of, um, and Freeze, because they they had, like, the carnival vibe, which I thought <laughs> yeah. was, like, really interesting and cool. Where this one doesn't have this, but this is, this is like, old Tiara. This sounds exactly like an I, old yeah, Tiara yeah, song. It. Like, it's just, really, like, very uh, EDM dance pop. Mm-hmm. Like, um, uh, not really poly- lovey-dovey. Yeah, like, really catchy like chorus love. and... I thought like the I think the the chorus dance is like really catchy too like it's really yeah, simple it's so and like good. it's really good it's and then it has a love cherry motion drop or the rap sections like a trap song for 15 seconds that comes out I mean, of nowhere I'm really glad they won with this song it's <laughs> really then, good like and just um, to, just to show like so how popular so how much the song blew up okay so Momoland's like they're the most they've ever gotten on a music video is I think maybe Freeze had like two point five million. Yeah. I think two point five million. Yeah. This is at this right now is is knocking on the door of six point five million views. That's I'm, insane. I'm like very rarely like do like groups like especially non-big groups from three a, groups. Yes, non big three groups ever hit this kind of mark. Like this is insane for uh for a group of their size. Yeah, so. like yeah, ten like ten MVs is insane, which is why when cards <laughs> started getting ten <laughs> 10 million on all their music videos and then yeah. uh don't stop has don't, don't recall has like don't 40 stop. or 50 right now um but yeah, yeah um, like that's very rare for a small group or a uh, group like this to one get thing i'll say about boom boom views. as far as the song goes is like uh the instrumentation is my favorite part of it oh yeah like, yeah. like, yeah. like you know because it, it, it it's shin song dong tiger so the funny oh, thing is, perfect. Oh, yes. is it? Okay, you don't I have, didn't know that. I have to say this. I have to say this. The king of my four minute songs. Yep. He made I a didn't better. He made a better song with freaking <laughs> Momoland than he did with freaking EXID. Like you can, <laughs> I can totally see this being an EXID song, but he gave yeah, it to Momoland. Yeah, that, that too. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. not complaining, but like, it's so funny how he gave them. He gave him such a good song. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, the next song is called. Wait, Curious. Oh wait, I, I was like, like, uh, we need we we, we have haven't even the, talked about the rap section that much. We haven't oh, talked about the okay, MV okay, <laughs> or okay, the MV. Okay, okay, all right, go okay. back, go back, go back. Because like we okay, I, like the MV is amazing because it's like okay, Momoland is they're kind of I guess young in a way, but like yeah, it they was are, de- like they're fairly young. Yeah. Their their image I guess was sort of just like cutesy in a way, in but this I feel like was a nice step. It's not overly sexy, but it's definitely more mature. Visually no, and think, sound yeah. wise, for that's pro- for Mo- personally for that's where I like to see girl groups is between the cute and sexy vibe. Um, yeah, like that's where SSD or classy was. AF like who could yeah, yeah, about yeah. to be. Yeah, but also like the the visuals of like the actual MV is insane. It's like this weird sort of Momoland shopping network, and they all have like these weird dance sort of moves. And freaking Julie is like the star of the show for Momoland now, just because she's mm-hmm. a huge meme. So yeah. she, she does yeah, her. She does the meme dance. Yeah, she does the meme dance, which is probably why they featured her so much in the choreo. Um, yeah, God, hey, it's, it's it's so hard for me to pick up like a, a Momoland bias though, because I was I was a Daisy, I'm a Daisy kind of guy because ears, but Dewey's definitely mm-hmm. up there because uh, like I love the meme potential and but mm. uh, Nancy's uh, definitely up there too. Uh, Nancy is underage right now, so I know, uh, I, I, which is why, like, <laughs> which is why I, I have to they're, avoid. But they're between ninety six and two thousand, so they're not that yeah. young. But they're not that old. Yeah, that's, like that's Na- Nancy is the youngest at two thousand, uh, April two thousand, and then uh, Haben is the oldest at ninety six. Mm-hmm. Who is my bias? Although I liked her purple hair from Freeze <laughs> better, but I, I like her hair now. I like she looks good with short hair. Yeah, but yeah, I like the purple hair from yeah. purple short hair from Freeze. But it's because of this, like how I think they they're going to blow up this year. If I mean, they t- kind of already did blow up, but I think this. Oh well, yeah, like, th- this is them blowing up. Let's just see if they can continue that. Yeah, I, I, that I think they, trend let, upward. Let, like, let's see if they can. <laughs> like, it's so hard for like new goos from non big three group like uh, yeah. labels to blow up, and like this is them just like sort of like. I wonder if any of them were on produce. I don't Teha. remember any of them. Teha, 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 oh yeah, Teha was on. That's right. That's right. Yeah, she was on produce. Yeah, Teha she was. was she was. Produce. She was added last year because. Yeah, like, yeah, that's, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, but like everything, like everything about it was perfect. Like the song was good. MV was amazing. Mm. Choreography was excellent. The memes were on point. <laughs> like the rap, 
rap trap section yes. that the, came the out of nowhere. Break, it's so funny how Daisy's like the Daisy's like Daisy's like the, Daisy's like Daisy's the, most like the rapper and yeah, and she's like yeah. the most childish looking one because she's like yeah, dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's it's really out of place when you first listen to it, but then but it, it's, I love it. It though. grows so yeah. well because it, it's, so it, it's sort of I think the reason why it works well when girl groups do it is because especially I think in particular with Momoland is because. They sort of have like a whimsical sort of like like fun vibe. So putting yeah. a trap break in it is almost kind of funny in their songs. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's exactly. It, they did it. They did it as like a a shock joke back like value. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it sort worked. of like how it, with with Likey and Twice. Like it, it sort of like came out of nowhere. So it's kind of well, like, yeah. Well, that's why I said it. It's like Love Cherry Motion, where like it's this cute girl group song, and then it just <laughs> drops into this like super sexy hardcore dance break. Yeah, and it's just like what again, is going on. She ate isn't that Momoland cherry and it was the... full of drugs. But again, isn't Momoland from the same company as uh, Kim Young Chol? Yeah, yeah, because he yeah, they, that's they did why, backup that's why dance he danced for, him. for them, right? Or, yeah, they did backup dance for his when his debut with yeah, Ring yeah, Ring. Knowing Bros. Yeah. Anyways, <coughs> and yeah, they um, showed up on Knowing Bros. to so Support him now. We yes, can now we can move on to, to Curious. Song. Okay, so Curious is a uh, acoustic pop ballad, basically. It's, yep. Uh, yep. It's pretty good though. It's got like so, more. Of like a upbeat feel than most of them do. Most yeah, of them yeah. stay pretty mellow. This one's more like yep. high up as far as like the uplifting scale goes. Yeah. So like <laughs> what I said, like it's really chill compared to Boom Boom, but like you said, it's still upbeat because yeah. it has that like drumline snare part that leads into the yeah. chorus. Um, so that like helps it build up, and then the end is really cool with the, like the synth strings. Like it's an instrumental ending, but I really yeah. really liked it. Um, really, also, I also like the part in between the uh, like the verses or chorus where it's like uh, sort of goes into the like uh, flows into like an EDM sort of uh, yeah, like yeah break almost like for like five or ten seconds. I like that part as well. Yeah, I think like my best way of describing it is like it's a simple song, but, like fairly simple. I mean, there's obviously complexities to it, but it really conveys like the feeling it's going for. Like you can tell what type of feeling it's going for, and it does it really well. Yeah. Andrew. Uh, Andrew. Yeah, uh, for this one, it didn't. I guess it didn't stand out as for me as much, because um, I'm just kind of over like the electric acoustic guitar picking sort of thing that like mm. Haley Steinfeld does. So yeah, I, this this is probably really the only is. one that didn't stand out to me. For those that are watching, Magic is not on this track list. I forgot to take it off, so just ignore this. <laughs> oh, did you uh, did you have Magic on there from yeah. uh, from uh, oh my girl? Oh my girl. Yeah, there's only six tracks on this album. Or, well, there's only four, only four, two four that are yeah, two instrumentals. Yeah. So, but yeah. yeah. Um. Okay, so then going into the third song, uh, this yep. one's called "Same Same." Yep. Uh, right off the bat, this sort of reminds me of something <coughs> like. Uh, it reminds me of like kind of like Roland on Twice's last album. It yeah, also yeah. sort of reminds me of like so, Orange Caramel almost. So this is this is similar to their older stuff. This yeah. is this is definitely a throwback to their but, first two albums one thing i have to say <coughs> that, uh, the production was done by pink moon who's the same person that did mm. alice um by Zhang Wa off of the the um full moon by exid i love okay. that song okay. love the production i love the production on this song too so it's got yeah. it's kind of got that like thought, it, indie sort of vibe or like, yeah i really like the instrumentals on the song mm-hmm. that's definitely the most standout sort of thing yep it's a, it's a yeah, house this, song so uh yeah, this song has a lot of like uh, little like intricacies and layers. Like once again, I I really like to hear that in songs because it sounds really good. If you have if you have headphones with a really good sound stage, you can like pick out the different layers, and uh, yeah, that's one of the things I really enjoy when I'm listening to uh, like new music and stuff. So yeah, I, I definitely like the song. This one stood out to me a lot. Uh, coming up next is I guess the last song, which is Fly. Which, which is, is a, cover a cover of the, the God, God 7, 7 song. song. It's not a cover, a cover of the God of the 7 Jessica song, damn it. Or the Jessica song. <laughs> it's a cover of two songs that wants to mash up. Yeah. Of covers. Um, no, yeah, this is like... I don't know. I, Andrew could correct me, but to, this is a funky EDM song with tropical house vibes. Is yeah. how I described it. Yeah, you you you, you could go with that. It's de- it definitely has a tropical. It's house not a tropical voices. house song, but it definitely the has the vibes are. of one. The verses are definitely yeah, yeah. tropical house. But then it's like a mm-hmm. weird funk EDM song. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it just it it it's that it kind of reminds you of the the stuff that um, Moonyana does in instrumental yeah, yeah. wise. So that's probably why I like it too. Like you know, even though yeah, I, mean, I like the song, even though. 
you know, even though I'm kind of getting sick of Tropical House and K-pop, I will, but this never, was, yeah. this was I will never get sick of Tropical House. I think I think it's staying, overstaying its welcome a little bit, but I think we'll move out of it as we get Next into year. like like maybe February or March. I think. One, we need Polka. Polka needs to be the next concept. Card, oh, card will bring Polka into <laughs> into a K-pop sphere. Anyways, um, yeah, I really like the uh, sort of EDM uh, like influences on this. It's it is kind of weird that they mix them together that way. But um, another thing is I like the small like rap portions. <laughs> I was gonna well, say, what did so. you think of the cover of Jackson's rap? It's very good. <laughs> they did a very good job achieving Jackson's <laughs> You're rap in, in their cover, their mashup of Got Seven's Fly and Jessica <laughs> Jung's Fly. Yep. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, uh, this one also stood out to me a lot. Um, yeah. I like this song a lot, so, yeah. This, this whole album, I guess, I think was yeah, just... Yeah, I was say, I liked all the songs. It was, pretty it's good. Just, it was, it was a surprise, I guess, just because we didn't, I didn't, like, we didn't think of all the groups to blow up, you wouldn't think it would be Momoland. Like, yeah, Momoland I think they'd stay kind of Nugu, to be honest. Yeah, so. like, they, they, like this, they might be escaping nugu dumb with this thing, and I hope so, because I want more... I think I want, they, they, you have to, they won. They Like, they have all escaped nugu dumb. Yep. They, have, yeah. they yep. have a music show win. Very few yep. artists can claim that. Yep. Also, like... I wish there was more. Like the only game was four. <laughs> yeah, tracks. I was. Yeah, that's I was, true. Like, I, I was, was upset like, Whoa, that, that it was considered a mini album with four tracks because two of them. Like, yeah, it's, it's technically a, six, but two it's are more like a single. But whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like a single album. Um, yeah, but it's still good. So, ratings. Yep. So for me, five out of six for songs. I liked all of them a lot. Um, yep. I think if there were more songs and they were of this quality, I'd probably give it a six. But I think it gave it a five out of six because I was upset that it was only four songs. Uh, Two out of three for style. Uh, I love the MV. I love the choreo. Um, Yep. It just didn't, like, blow me away, so I didn't want to give it a three. Uh, Side note, we didn't talk about it, but uh, Curious has, like... Some pretty good catchy choreo to it because they performed it for comeback stage. Oh, I didn't see that. I'll, I'll go um, check it out. And then I do give them a bias because I've been following Momo Land since the beginning. I've had all their albums, yeah. so um, I don't physically have them, but I bought them on iTunes. Uh, so yeah, I gave them bias point. So I gave them an eight out of ten. Yep. All right. So for me, yeah, five out of six for music. Again, I feel like it, this is their breakout. This is their breakout album. I love Boom Boom. I think. If they, if they can do some more stuff like this, they can probably get popular because it's sort of a sound yeah. that we don't hear in girl groups anymore. But even like <clears throat> EXID started moving away from it. So, yeah, yep. yeah, it, it, it's definitely a niche that they can fall into and find success in. So hopefully we get more of this. Uh, mm. Three out of three for concept, just because I love this. It, it's insane. I love the music video. I love everything about it. So Ooh, Nate's going to happen again. Yep. Two times in one episode. I rate something higher than you. Oh, I mean. Something that I liked a lot higher, higher than me. Yeah, but I mean, it just because twenty eighteen different Andrew. He's gonna give out nines and tens all the time. Nah, now. nah, nah, nah. This is and this I'm is gonna be for, more hardcore. Nah, this is gonna be different. This is this isn't gonna be everything. <laughs> but I mean, it, I mean, if it is, that, that's just like if I give end up giving everything like nines and tens, that just means it's an amazing year for K-pop. But I, I doubt I'll, I'll yeah. give up. End up giving everything like nines and tens. But hey, with this concept, I mean, if we like, can have anything that's half as good as twenty seventeen. It's already yeah, gonna be definitely. An but I mean, this is actually it's already been an amazing an January. Start. Yeah, we're, already, January we're only halfway ama- through. Amazing amazing got, we still have Susie. Awesome song from Momoland. We got Chunga. We got. Some some he came out today. We have Susie yep. coming up <laughs> next week. We have Goo Goo Don at the end of the month. Oh, so excited! Yeah. Anyways, but yeah, with this sort of concept, I feel like I feel like Jewie's meme dumb is sort of gonna like hard carry them into like star like like crazy like star power because you know after this like they, they're definitely gonna show up on more variety shows because everyone's gonna want Jewie to do the meme dance and that sort of thing. So mm. it definitely it, I'm I'm very excited for the future of Momo and and it's very rare that you can say that about like many like new group groups sort of. Uh, but yeah, three out of three for concept, one out of one for bias point because again I, I love them. I'm definitely standing them hardcore now. So that's a nine out of ten. That's a nine wow. out of ten. Very rare all right. for me. Um, all right, yeah. So I actually I liked all four of the songs on the album, so I gave it a five out of six. Um, just because the the uh, boom boom same same and fly, I really liked a lot, but curious didn't really blow me away. <laughs> I liked it though, nonetheless. Yeah. Um, I gave it three out of three <coughs> just because I really liked the music video for it. But you that didn't was really give nice. Advice. 
Um, and no, actually, I'm yeah, giving did. this a nine. nine. I thought it was a really oh, solid yes. meal for it being <laughs> yes, four. Yes, it gets a shiny. I, got, I rated this it the gets lowest a shiny. out of all of us. Yeah, you, wow. lowered, you rated a girl group the lowest. <laughs> This is oh, wow. it's new Nate, new Andrew. Wow. No, it's not. It's just <laughs> it needed. If it had more songs, it would have been a nine out of ten easy. Yeah, I, I could agree with that actually. Also, but yeah, um, yeah, I liked it a lot. It was great. A uh, really solid mini album, and I hope they can have a resurgence from this. So yeah, hopefully they carry the momentum uh, through to the next single. I can see it. Maybe I can use see the it. same producer the po- again. The power and, of yeah, memes. Yeah. The power of memes, man. So nine yes. and ten, they get a shiny symbol too. Oh yeah, my girl! Oh my girl shiny. ruined the streak. Oh, I'm Damn. sorry, OMG. Yeah, I love they you. They had a good album too. Dan. They I love did, you, but, but the title the track, for the me, title but not track quite a ruined it. Title it's like track Poke- it's it. like we're talking about Pokemon. We don't have we don't. Our team isn't a full shiny. Not all shinies. <laughs> Yep. I caught a shiny Pokemon before, and I didn't even know what they were. I was just playing Ruby and saw, like, oh uh, what was the, like, you know the sound Pokemon? It, like, kind of looks like Explode. Pikachu, but not, like, the, the pre-evolution of it. Wismer? Wismer, yeah. I found a Wismer. I was like, it has green ears. I was like, what the fuck's wrong with this Wismer? So I was like, <laughs> I should probably catch this, just in case, because it looks weird. And it definitely doesn't, normally has yellow ears, and now it has green and then, like, I found out, like, a years later when I was just, like, found out about shiny Pokemon, even though I've been playing them mm-hmm. since the beginning, because that was the first yeah. one I'd ever seen. I, didn't I don't know think I've ever got shiny, ever. <laughs> they, they started in uh, Crystal. Anyways, yes. uh, uh, today Side we game. had some pretty pretty good uh, albums today. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and, yeah, like, today, all, of them were eight, all of them were sealing approval and above, so, yeah, definitely really good. You could say they were... Great. Truly. You could say they were great. <laughs> great. They were great. I thought you were going to say Not just good, they're great. they're great. They're great. Frosted Flakes, please sponsor us. We're poor. <laughs> right. Yeah, because Gur is Get one of the songs in Elevator. Grr. Yeah, that's Elevator Cross Momo Land. Grr. Yep. Right. Yep. Tony, the thing you bust out. Yep. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for listening. Um, tune in again next week. Yep. Again, please uh, review us on iTunes, subscribe, and comment. Um, we definitely like to hear feedback and stuff, so mm-hmm. keep that coming. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I know. <laughs> Thanks for the 100 subscribers, and stay yep. creamy. Yes. Bye-bye. Stay throbbingly, throbbingly creamy. creamy. Stay great. I know. Great. <laughs> Andrew voted to cut. I voted to cut this song. <laughs> Dude, this song I'm, is amazing. I'm bringing the fandom down upon you. How did you vote? That you gotta explain that. You have like, to they, explain this. This song is amazing. How it's did a good you song, vote to but cut this song? It's a good song, but if I wanted to listen to 21, I'd go listen to 21.